Greetings from Bangladesh. Hello, everyone who are watching this program around the world. Again, greetings. Thanks to all. Greetings from Bangladesh. I am Tofik Johur speaking as a host today. Today, our episode number is 100 train is going on. And title of our program today, The World of Poetry, Recitations, Poet Voice, Part 30. Today, 3rd July, Sunday. Now it is in 9 p.m. Bangladesh time. Thank you again, everyone who are watching. We have a slogan. The slogan is very beautiful. The sky of poetry is one. Though the poets live around the world, but their thinking thought is same. That is humanism. All the poet thinks that the poet one the world will be one day become a rose garden by the poetry. So that we are working for poetry, we are live for poetry, we are writing for poetry. Thank you everyone from 10 countries. Ten poets are invited today. This is Uddan Little Magazine platform. Again, we are starting this program today. First of all, I am inviting from my native country, that is Bangladesh, I am inviting poetess Shanta Maria. Now, I am introducing one of the important poetess who is from Bangladesh. She is Shanta Maria. She is a popular poetess, essayist, short story writer, novelist. She is the generations of 90s. By profession, she is a journalist. She is working as a guru chief in China Media Group. She has started poetry writing when she was only three years old. Her first book of teenage poetry was published in 1979 at the age of nine. The name of that book was Gravity. After published that book, then even Secretary General Kurt Wildheim, Indian Prime Minister Srimati Indira Gandhi and many other celebrities around the world wrote letter to praising the book. She published 14 books where five books are poetry. Now I am inviting poetess Shanta Maria to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you, a poet Sofik Johur. Thank you, Uddan TV. I make a small uh, correction. I am not a bureau chief. I am a senior journalist in China Media Group in Dhaka. I am working as a senior journalist here, senior broadcast journalist. And my first poem is Jokhon Bishite Bishite I will read it first in Bengali, my own language. Then I will read it in English. Because it is rainy season now in Bangladesh, I dedicate my poem to the rainy season. Jokhon Bishite Bishite Tete Ashar Trabon Amar Dui Premik কথা দিয়েছিল বৃষ্টিতে সাজিয়ে দেবে হাত সে আমার সকাল বেলার গল্প তারপর দুপুর গড়িয়ে বিকেলে নেমেছে বৃষ্টিতে ভেজা হয়নি আর এক তীব্র মধ্যাহ্নে আকাশ আবৃত করে জমেছিল মেঘ নেমে এসেছিল আদিম দেবতা আকোটাঙ্কা কিন্তু সূর্যদেব আমন রা এসে বাড়িয়ে দিলেন সুপ্রাচীন বর্ষা আকোটাঙ্কা সেই যে চলে গেল আর ফেরেনি আমি যখনই বৃষ্টিতে ভিজতে চেয়েছি রোদ্দুর বিছিয়ে দিয়েছে তার ঝলমলে চাদর মেঘ বালকের দল ফিরে গেছে মুখ ভার করে আহা বলছি তো রোদ্দুরকে ভালোবাসি আমি তাই বলে একদিনও বৃষ্টিতে পাখা ছড়িয়ে দেব না তা কি হয় নাও আই রিড ইট ইন ইংলিশ when I wanted to get wet in the rain. Asher Srabon are my two lovers, promised we'll decorate the hand in the rain. That's my morning story. Then the afternoon rolled down, not wet in the rain anymore. In an intense midday, the sky was covered with clouds. The primitive god Akotanka came down Surya Dev Amun Ra came, raised the ancient spear. 
Akutanka is the one who left, never returned. Whenever I wanted to get wet in the rain, sun has spread his shiny sheet. Cloud voice has returned with a heavy face. Ah, I mean, I love the sun, but I never told that I will not wet my wings in the rain. Thank you. Thank you very much, Poetess Santa Maria, for your beautiful starting. Now I am inviting one of the important poetess in this time. He is Mr. Shomit Boshu from India. Now I am introducing one of the eminent poet who is from India. He is Mr. Shomit Boshu. By profession, he is a teacher. He has started writing since childhood. He writes in almost all prominent journal and magazine in Kolkata. He is the author of 29 books. He is the generations of 80s for his outstanding contribution to poetry. Mr. Shamit Boshu has to received many prestigious awards from India and Bangladesh. He is the editor of Nosto Chat, Kobita Patro, Unno Kobita and Baromash Putrika. He is co-editor of Blogzin online magazine, whose name is Jalpai Diper Alo. Now, I am inviting Honorable Poet Shamit Bashu to present his first poem today. Thank you. Dhanabad. Thank you. Thank you, Tofik, Shumon, my brother, and all of my friends. My first poem, Ghudar Tale Arai Pa Jai, Abar Pichhi Aashi. Panch Pashtra Raat Vikri Kure Dilam Khub Kom Pai Shai. Jolir Dore Kena Chilo, Taita Mon Gaya Lagin. Tar Matha Rupur Di Ude Jeto Nouko, Daad Gulo Thok Thok Kure Laak To Ente Nai. Phulga Chhe Chara Gulo, Matha Nariye Janiye Jito Jatra Pot. Jate Opar Kar Alo, ডাল ভেঙে নিচে নেমে না আসে যেখানে মেঘের চৌবাচ্চা চায় অসংখ্য মাছ ছিপ ফেলে রেখেছে মানুষ ধরবে বলে বাড়ি থেকে উৎখাত করবে বলে বসে আছে ভাড়াটিয়া সহ জাতাসে নিচু হয়ে জোসনা কুড়োতে গিয়ে হাতে লাগলো ঝাউ পাতা একটা লম্বা সরু মই নিয়ে সে নেমে পড়েছে পাখির সন্ধানে গাছে গাছে ছেয়ে রয়েছে চিতল হরিণ মাঝরাত এগিয়ে আসতেই তার কোমর থেকে হড়কে নামলো লজ্জা যতবার চিৎকার করি হলুদ হয়ে ওঠে ফোয়ারাগুলো হাত ভর্তি কাগজপত্র নিয়ে ডানা খুলে ফেলছে বাড়িওয়ালা মাছগুলো হাপিত্তেস করে পরজন্মে ফুল গাছ হয়ে জন্মাতে চাইছে পালতলা নৌকো উপুর হয়ে ভেসে দুলে দুলে পৌঁছে যাচ্ছে এ পাড়া থেকে ও পাড়ার ছাদে খুব কম পয়সায় কিনে ফেললাম যে পাঁচ পাঁচটা রাত তারাই একদিন প্রতিবেশী হয়ে দোল খাবে পেছনের বাগানে সবার অলক্ষে থ্যাংক ইউ তৌফিক থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ পয়েট সৌমিত বসু ফর ইউর বিউটিফুল লিরিকাল poem who you have to read now thank you now i am inviting poetess gita mohanti from united states of america now i am introducing one of the well known poetess who is from united states of america she is dr gita mohanti she is an adjunct biology professor in united states of america she did her PhD from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, that is IITB, India, and postdoctorate from McGill University, Montreal, Canada, in environmental science and engineering. Dr. Gita has written more than 800 poems so far, and many other, many are published in various online poetry forum and platform, literary web magazine, e-journal, and several anthologies. She likes painting, reading, philosophy, and nature. She is motivated in serving the unprivileged. Now, I am inviting poetess Gita Mohanti to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Tofik, for such wonderful introduction and uh, having me here. It's a pleasure 
to be here in the platform with among all the Indian poets from different parts of the world. It's a definitely a pleasure. Um, it's morning here and uh, so good evening to the other part of the world and good morning here all of you and those who are listeners in this side of the world. Um, today I'm going to recite uh, the poem, first poem entitled Interior Decoration. To my diamond sunless interior, I have an access to decor. I'm wealthy enough to purchase that vast space, just like the blank sky's vastness and blue ocean's essence and northern lights vibrant, <coughs> Arctic spotless white and its coolness. That vastness of the nothingness from where everything every life emerges and also at the end to that only again immersion takes place i chose to decorate that space of myself with love compassion forgiveness and the grace i have raised the flowers of love in the pot of compassion and patience i have arranged the orchids in the vase of pure innocence, a piece of Buddha's peace statue also I have placed to remind me not to keep expectations and to maintain on attached emotions. I have felt expectations harvest the pain and the attachments never let go of them. Near the garden of my heart, I have an elegant fountain of overflowing love and beautiful sentiments where I drench myself often with eternal solace. To myself, I have many more commitments and I am still in the process. Just started laying down the fundamental foundation in that elegant emptiness. In my that beautiful space of nothingness, I always have a solace that nothing can be lost from my nothingness, I would keep on decorating it with my awakened sense of elegance. Thank you so much, Gerald, for hearing me. I took think Tofik, it's mute from your side. Or it's uh, got standstill, I don't know. I suppose there is some problem. Oh, I can see. Shanta, next John ke invite karai jai. Nishchoi. Amai mani hoche kofi khata. Haan, seja nahi bol si. Jai ami, pored John ke jid invite karo, kata continue hoote baare, ufiri aashu. Haan, I think uh, Ramina can continue uh, with her poem. <laughs> uh, when uh, Tofi will come, uh, he will introduce uh, you, Ramina, but uh, you can continue with your poem and we can uh, hear your beautiful poem. I think you can start. Buenas noches, Bangladesh. Eh, mil gracias, Taufik, Sumon, por la invitación. De verdad que es un inmenso honor poder estar aquí en esta plataforma compartiendo con ustedes mis locos versos y estar en medio de grandes poetas como los que están aquí presentes, España, Indonesia, Uzbekistán, Kazajistán, Bangladesh y Estados Unidos. Mi primer eh, poema es del libro Inter Rosa et Mori y bueno, lo titulé Te Especto o Te Espero. Tal vez el horizonte se confabule con Poseidón y decida procurar acercarme a, a ti 
desde aquella mítica tierra, donde las pirámides hablan por sí solas, contándole al mundo sus historias, enseñanzas milenarias de visión y conocimientos que muy pocos pueden entender. Y aquellos elegidos tienen en su mano mágicas llaves que apertura la mente, abre el corazón y el, y el alma expresa la verdad sin circunspección. En algún punto de esas tierras estás, amor, latiendo tu corazón en mi pecho y mis sueños, mero, y, y mis sueños merodeando tu cabeza, urdiendo planes para cruzar el Nilo, o quizá yo el Mediterráneo, y poder mirarme en tus ojos, que sería el regalo más hermoso, abrazarte sin pausa y esfumarnos juntos en el prístino anhelo de, carida, de caricias vívidas para ser eternos. Donovan, thank you so much. Gracias. Gracias, thank you, right? Uh, thank you, thank you, Ramina. Sophie has not returned yet, so I think we can continue our journey because uh, some of our uh, who are watching us they will get uh, bored if we do not continue. Uh, I think the next next Ida Ida you can uh, continue yourself, and after uh, Sophie will return, he will introduce yourself. Okay. Hola, muchas gracias por a Tofik por poder participar hoy y, y bueno yo quiero leer uno de, de mis poemas de, de mi libro Sílabas de Luz. Es el, libro que, es el poema que, que da comienzo al, al libro y dice así. Vengo de la ventana, desde allí al otro lado, un ojo de ámbar para la confusión de las líneas en la continuación del horizonte. Hay exclamaciones en las cejas, trozos de estrellas. Vengo con un descuido de tu rostro de espejo, una llaga de reflejos absoluta, antes caminé en la plaza de los niños sobre una espiral de tiza. Vengo de la ventana hacia adentro, al cuadrado irregular de los caminos de la sangre, a dormir bajo farolas huérfanas, donde la lluvia de luz no desata olas en las pestañas. Al borde de la, de la luz, sombra. Al borde de la sombra, luz. Una conjunción exacta. Vengo de la ventana. Vengo del mordisco de lluvia en los cristales, rabia de nubes, sombras para los pies descalzos, luz para los zapatos, una persiana para la confusión, a un lado y al otro, días y noches, noches y noches, luz y bombillas. Vengo de la ventana a ti, territorio de la conjugación en los reflejos y las transparencias. Vengo de ti hacia ti, yo soy ventana, tú también. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Aida. And uh, I do not understand the language, but I can feel the uh, I can feel the wave or vibe it creates. So poetry has a has its own language, and it can touch our heart. Uh, and also, uh, Spanish is a very lyrical, very sweet language, uh, as as, as sweet as Bengali. And uh, now I think uh, uh, we can continue with our journey and Ainur from Kazakhstan. I think you can continue. Please continue us. Thank you, friend. Versen Haben is got Kukturin Gibar Kodai. Wuldunio Kilbit Nyanai Mai. Мен білемін көк түрінде бар ғудай. Саған тартқан осына бұл ғаламды түндіңді де жарық еткен айдынай. Саған тартқан тұршылықты тұнық қып, тұнықтықты бүлдірдік бе құнықтық, 
жазира көл, райсаң дала, тау орман, алғыс айтпай, біз сендерді шырыттық. Олар тұрмақ, туыстық, тұмыттық, достықты да адалдық сыз ұғыппық. Атананың баласынан безген бар, бейірімді қамап қойған құлып қып. Махабаттан сенбеген нен безген біз, өкпе ғана, өктім сіген, тезген біз, көк төрінен құдай өнсіз бағып тұр, айыптама, адам емес, безбен біз. Қоныр күз. Көз келді, күле алмадым көніл көншіп, ұрықыма көн бейтіндей өмір мүмкіп, аспанда жылауықтай бұп кетті ме, мұңыма ұайымым телінгенсіп, сен мені өткенім мен табыстырдың, күндерді күндерім мен жарыс қылдың, жалаң ағаш, жалаң аш көнілімдей, жаныма ертеден ақтаныс құрбым, сұп-сұр болды, тек отырмын құтым қашып, Шаттықтан бір минутты құтылғансып, үреймен үмітімді тұқсыртады, жалғаным шындығымнан ұсырғансып, сондықтан үндемеші өтінемін, күз келді, мазалайды несіне мұн, ей жалған, мен өзіне ғашық жанмын, өтірігіңді қалайша кешіремін. Тәнкеу. Тәнкеу сомын, Айнур. And we hear the vibe of Central Asia. And her voice and her Uh, language has a uh, has a fragrance of Central Asia that is very ancient place and very ancient civilization. Now from Central Asia we can go to Argentina and Pilar Lopez. Uh, we can uh, please uh, recite your poem and let us uh, hear your poem. Thank you so much. Um, so thank you so much for this. Uh, I will start with one poem um, that is in, in Spanish and also in English. Um, it's uh, for, uh, for those people who had some difficulties in the past and who can uh, forgive him uh, to the, give them uh, support for this new start. Sin miedo, sin miedo a comenzar de nuevo, hacerlo todo otra vez de cero, mirando siempre adelante, pudiendo reinventarse, creyendo el sentido de recrearse. Sin miedo a comenzar de nuevo, logrando metas, olvidando los detalles que alguna vez nos retuvieron. Sin miedo a comenzar de nuevo, abatiendo enemigos, <coughs> adversarios, completando sueños, dándole vida a nuevos proyectos. Sin miedo a comenzar de nuevo, sin miedo a nuevos comienzos. And in English is without fear. Not afraid to start over. Do it all over again from scratch. Always looking forward. Being able to re reinvent. Believing the sense of recreation. Not afraid to start over. Achieving goals. Forgetting the details that once held us. Not afraid to start over, taking down enemies, adversaries, completing dreams, giving life to new projects. Not afraid to start over without fear of new beginnings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pilar Lopez, uh, for your beautiful poem. It was really beautiful and really heart touching. And now we again go to Central Asia and Medina from Uzbekistan. Uh, please, we I invite Medina from Uzbekistan to read her poem. Assalamu alaikum. Good part of the day, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor. Um, to speak and tell my works. I have been interested to um, poetry since chi my childhood. 
And um, my first poem is Uzbekistan, my motherland. Uzbekistan, my motherland. The an example land in the east. There are many countries in the world, but you are only one for me. Your gardens are full of the icy. The moon appears on your sky, people say. Who have seen you, this is land would you develop fast. There is Uzbek nation. They are kind and merciful. Hospitality is their habit. Turkish people are our relatives. This is history, is its honor. Today it's wide opportunity and the generations of that nation. And my second poem is Uzbek language. And so, Sherlaran. Shiriatna Juda Sevaman. Sevganan Bek Menborlakna. Shunki Satarlarga Tizab Turaman. Kalbundaki Hustu Yolarna. Kanabulup in Sanya Kanal. Shiriatta Parvos et also. Yo Bolmasa Bugindi Hayot. Sherlarimda mujassam bo'lsa yuragimga yaqin dilkashim sen ila men taskin olaman mening uchun aziz dardkashim senga dunyo rasman chizaman ilham ilham oshnodek bo'lar yana o'tiradi ko'zlarim tikib go'yo menga ajib parvona shijoatim ketar entki Tetsa Thank you, thank you, Modina, for your beautiful poem. Uh, Shomita, do you think we can continue uh, with the uh, poem? Sure, 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 sure. Next round. Next we round. Start. We are entering in the next round. Ah, and yes. Uh, Shomita. You should, you, you should first time. You should uh, yes. continue I have your poem. Time. Your poem. Okay, okay, I will uh, start. Shanta Maria from Bangladesh. She is okay. reading her second poetry. Okay, I'm reading my second poem and it's in Bengali language and it recently published in our, uh, in one of our eminent paper, newspaper. So I'm reading this. Na bhasha yo pole. Hilo Protom Chumbon Adim Kumari Naginir Oshopute Kwata Silo Pari Dibu Du Rail Pot Pahara Churai Gore Nebo Nijoshunagur Sahiti Rimini Jolly Chinu Prashad Africa Rupukule Orun Nabosuti Kwata Silo Hatir Mutoi Pure Nebo Noinital Baranoshi Agrar Mahon मृत माँ छोए भेषे उठे शब्द गोपन बाशुना बारो हाथ काकुरेरे जीवन खाचाए था शुद्धो आमदेर विस्तृत कामुना आगमी जान मेरे जन्नो तूले रखी ऐशो जो तो ब्रिष्टि स्नान कालो ड्रागोनेर घर मेघो मग्नो निबेरे दुपुर पिताहार आशीनेर भोर बैला शेतारे शंगलाप एक जीवनेर जाबतियो रीन शोध कुरे मृत्यु भी मुखे हेतु चले निशाद का फैला मृत्यु नौए चुरान तो कौखनो मृत्यु नौए दिच्छे दिच्छेद नगोर देखा हो भी उन्नो कोनो ग्रहे उन्नो कोनो शामोएर बाके ना होए आरेख बार धारा जबे हाथ सुना जबे ना भी केरे जहाजी शंगी देखा हो भी ये सोम पौधे दे चले दीप जला शराई खाना है भक्त पुरी ये जन मेर मातू, केशो क्रास लीला, केशो पुण्यमार मोहनु सब प्लांट जो कि ने में शुभुम, इशु प्रेम, इशु मित्तु, मिन मायाबाश आच्छादन, सर्वोच्चे सालिंगनी विदाय शुभियो। थैंक यू सो मच। फाइन, वेरी ब्यूटीफुल ओएम, इट हैज अ ग्रेट कैनवस, लॉन्ग कैनवस। थैंक यू सो मच। I think uh, we can hear the next poem from Shamit Bosu, Kolkata, India. Thank you, Sister Santa Maria. 
আরো দূর কত দূরে আছে এই দিনে তুমি চুরি হয়ে গেছো জানি কিংবা মৃত্যু ডেকেছিল তিন দিকে সেদিন এমনই আনন্দ প্রতিমাকে চোখ ভরে যারা দেখেছিল তারা জয়ী সেদিন তোমার কাঁদবে উঠে যারা ঝরে পড়েছিল গুচ্ছ চুলের থেকে ধুলোর ওপর বসে দুই হাত মেলে কুড়িয়ে নিয়েছি ভোর রাতে সংকটে বাতাস যেখানে অতিশয় দ্রুত বয় সেখানেই শ্বাস নিয়েছ কিসের ভুল তারা হতে গিয়ে যেসব মেয়েরা পড়ে আমি তার পাশে ধ্রুব তারা হয়ে থাকি ইন ইংলিশ হাউ ফার ইজ টু ফার আই নো ইউ ওয়ার স্টোল ইন টু ডে দ্যাট ডেথ সারাউন্ডেড ইন থ্রি সাইডস those who saw the blessed soul to their hearts fill and win us those who rode on your shoulders fell out from the locks of fear now sat on dust outstretch both hands i gather crises from john where the winds rise swiftly you have drawn breath there where is the mistake those girls who burn up themselves to be a star from them i stand straight fast like the pole star thank you thank you for it so much bhushu yes thank you very so much yes i'm i'm really sorry that there is a electricity problem in my city so uh, i was dinas is connected now i am on mobile i think uh, first session already has to completed but uh, before uh, i am i like to introduce uh, our new friend aida acosta alfonso from spain uh, because uh, she is a very new person in our platform so i like to introduce her about herself so i am reading about herself uh, now i am introducing one of the well known poets who is from spain she is aida acosta alfonso she is a poetess article writer uh, she is the author of syllabus de luz that is syllabus of light et dalia which has been published in 2016 her work has been published in literary magazine in spain and other countries and included in multiple anthologies in spain and portugal she has participated in new meras recital and festival her poem has been translated into italian arabic and english aida has been the creative force behind a range of poetry project she always share her poem on facebook and also share on her blog iluvia de libelius a shower of dragon flies so friend I'll, i think she has to uh, read already one poem because uh, i was uh, missing just last 10 minutes so uh, now i think ramina also recite her her poem first poem so now i am also introducing about ramina <laughs> ramina now i am introducing one of the important poets who is from peru she is ramina herrera by profession she is a business administrator she completed her graduate from national university of tulzillu that is unt her poetry book memories of the unborn was published online by the magazine voice of spain in 2006 she was included in the anthology path of poetry in 2007 she published her poetry book night loneliness and others poem leonard 4221 moon omen night loneliness and other poems second edition digital confession of the down writing with the windows all book under the editorial seal of ediciones cuela lima peru and poetry books mountain omen and interroses at mauricis 
her novel, The Agony of a Dream, under the editorial seal, I am a editorial Mexico. She got many prestigious awards and recognitions for her poetry and narrative writings. Based on her poem, a short film was made by film production company Leonard Film and co-production was J.M. Udil Mabri Films. I think she has to already completed our first session. Now I am introducing our one of the uh, persuasive uh, poetess that is uh, Madina Muhammadi Jayeba. Now I am introducing one of the persuasive poetess who is from Uzbekistan. She is Madina Muhammadi Jayeba. She is a poetess, feature writer. Her poems and feature has been published in local and national newspaper magazines in Uzbekistan. Also published in several books that is international anthology. A writer's universe published in the USA in 2018. Golden Breeze published in India. Uzbekistan Poesa. Moderna, a narrative published in Italy in 2020. 1001 Uzbek Poets published in USA in 2020. Madina's first collections of poem is Orjular Kamalagi, The Rainbow of Dreams, published. Her second collections of poem is Flower Bird, published in USA in 2018. She writes in Uzbek and is English language. Madina also translates poem from Uzbek to other foreign languages. I think she has to completed her first session. Now I want to introduce my friend Ainur Kumar Khanova from Uzbekistan. Now I am introducing one of the well-known poetess who is from Kazakhstan. She is Ainur Kumar Khanova. She is a poetess translator. She has translated from different Asian languages into her native language. She writes poem in Russian and Kazakh language. By profession, she is a teacher of the Kazakh language and literature. She is the member of the Union of the Writers of North America Euro-Asian Creative Guild London. She has been participated many national and international poetry and literary festival. Her poems have been published in many journal magazine and web portal in national and international arena. She is also a singer and she sings all songs for her beloved homeland, that is Ukraine. I think she has to complete it, her first session. Now I am going to my sister, uh, Santa Maria. I, I ask her uh, if there is a first session already completed, uh, then we can start in second. I think uh, poet Shomit Boshu has to complete it, his second uh, poem. And you also read your second poem, right? Right. Yes. Uh, so Okay, now the, I am inviting the third, one. <laughs> the third one. Already two completed all poets. Thank you very much. No, 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 uh, no. Not no, no, all. No. Only two Only... completed. I and Shanta. Okay, yeah. now I am inviting. Okay, no problem. Now I am inviting poetess Gita Mohanty to present her second poem today. Thank you. Please unmute your phone. Um, my second composition is Who is Responsible? An Introspection. Didn't know when some dreams grew inattentively under the eyes who never ever used to dreams, such dreams, those which were out of sky, didn't realize when that delicate thread was woven around my heart 
as a warm soul, my sentiments never knew to pamper the attachments with such apparel. Never understood even illusion suits so good, tearing out those nostalgic waves of emotions felt so rude. Dilemma was also razor sharp. This way or that way, internal mirror reflected everything black. With the mirrors imaged to mate my eye to eye, as if woke up from the dream, all illusions I had to deny. If I would have gotten along with those illusions, then that anymore I wouldn't be who I am. I have no idea if for a moment my consciousness dozed off or the conscious was also enjoying my unconscious. Was the pride of my being awakened was hijacked or the overwhelming emotions overruled the impact? Did I let it happen? Then how, where, and when? If at all, then who is responsible? My heart, mind, conscious, or the soul? Thank you so much, Daryl. Thank you very much, Poetess Gita Mohanty, for your beautiful poem again. Now I am inviting Aida Acosta Alfonso from Spain. Now I am inviting, I think she is not in online. So I am requesting to uh, uh, Poetess Pilar Lopez Amorilli. Now coming Poetess Pilar Lopez Amorilli to present her second poem today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tupit, uh, for inviting me. Um, the second poem is uh, one I I uh, wrote uh, about this uh, this invasion, this war uh, of uh, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, it it will be in in Spanish and in English also. Uh, sin fundamentos. Infundados son los litigios que acaban con vidas humanas. Cuando es innecesario y cuando se busca tapar otra nada. Cuando devoran al, el espíritu, cuando conducen por el abismo. Cuando son testi testigos de los demenciales designios del destino. La infame tarea de quien no quiere batallar y matar a gran escala de quien se escuda tras absurdas palabras, que intentan justificar lo injustificable, que acallan las voces de quienes se oponen, que esquivan las miradas estoicas de quienes intentan decir de nuevo basta, que burlan las ama amables palabras de quienes no quieren saber nada, de quienes quieren paz por sobre todo y a quienes se les desgarra el alma. Uh, and in English is baseless. Unfounded are the lawsuits that finish with human lives when it's unnecessary and when you seek to cover you, to cover up another thing, when you when they devour the spirit, when they drive through the the, the abyss when they are witnesses of the insane destiny designs, the infamous tax, tasks of those who do not want battles and killings on large scale, of those who hide behind absurd words, of those who try to justify the unjustifiable that silence the voices of those who oppose, that dodge staircases of those who try to stay again, who try to say again enough, that mock the, the kind words of those who do not want 
to know anything of those who want peace above all, of whose so, of whose so, and whose souls are from apart, are torn apart. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Pilar Lopez Amaruli, for your beautiful uh, poem because it uh, touches our heart, and you have to give in some message to the world people who are watching this. The world will be very beautiful if yeah. the peace is available. Thank you very much. Now I am inviting a poetess Ramina Herrera. Now coming a poetess Ramina Herrera to present her second poem today. Thank you. Muchas gracias y de nuevamente del libro Interrosa de Tomori que está en Amazon, el poema Kaeli o Cielo. Mi azul cielo, inmenso, hermoso, mismo espejo de tu bello universo, da sentido a mi alegría y complementas el jardín de rosas que logré crear con mis quimeras cómplice perfecto de madrugadas insomnes, de mutis sospechosos, de lapiceros desesperados, del pozo que emana, de aquella estrella tan lejana y tan cerca de nuestra mirada, amante de las letras, que, escribas, que escribes con la tinta de tu linaje, andas con Borges, Sábado, Cortázar, García Márquez, Bukowski, Eyerson, Varela e innumerables seres míticos que te envuelven y me envuelven en torbellinos de palabras, sensaciones, locuras rotas, parchadas, humanas, que nos dan esperanza, esperanza o dulce agonía que mueren en la boca en tardes con frío y llovizna, como hoy, a mitad de la plaza, en una breve plática. Donovan, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ramina Herrera, for your beautiful poem again. No one can stop to recite the poetry because uh, in my city, my area, now there is no electricity, but it's program going on. Thank you very much because uh, poetry can make us very uh, warm, very cool, very happy. So uh, we are here, everyone, and watching who are. I'm really sorry to say I cannot read any viewers' comments because now I am on mobile. My laptop totally is closed due to electricity problem. So I'm really sorry to say again. Now I'm inviting my friend Aindur Kumar Khanogva from Kazakhstan. Now I am inviting poetess Kumar Aindur Kumar Khanogva to present her second poem today. Thank you. Thank you. Poem. Мой моделен Казахстан. У туған жер. Умірімде бұл жүрекке сыр мәлім. Содан бекен жүрегінін тыңдадым. Маған ыстық күнің, түнің, тау көлің, ойын қуы беркелеген қырларым. Самалыңа тосқан кезде жүзімді жүрегімнен бір жау қазын үзілді. Бетеген мен беліңді асып табанда, мен өзіңе сыйға тарттым жүрімді. Таңдарыңа ғашық болып ояндым, қиялымда кереметке бояндың, сән дуғаштың әнін естіп бағымда құдыретіңе бөленіп ем саяңның. Аспанымда қалықтады қыраным, мен өзіңнің амандығыңды сұрадым, ол туған дер алыстасам сол сәттек, түйек өзіңе арналатын бір әнім. Дәнке. Thank you, Айнур Кумар Канова, for your beautiful poem. You have to read it very speedy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I am inviting one of the persuasive poetess who is from Uzbekistan. Actually, I am calling about, uh, talking about Madina Muhammad Dari Jaiba. Now coming poetess Madina Muhammad Dari Jaiba to present mm -hmm. her second poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, my next poem is Orzularim Kemalagi. Orzularim Kemalag dek serjilo, Tuyghularim toshar gumiyo bir darya. Bolgim kelar sher ahlinin sirdoshi, Uaisiyu nadranin izdoshi. Yosh jonimni kurashlarga qistayman, Toqolmasin bu olkada hech jonlar, 
o'z yurtimda fido bo'lmoq istayman. Yashnab qursin bog'u bostonda gullar. Thank you very much Madina Muhammad Ali Jayaba for your beautiful poem. Though we don't understand the language of Uzbek, but we have to understand the rhythm of this language. Thank you very much. Now again, I am going to poetess Santa Maria. Now I am inviting poetess Santa Maria to present her third poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Tofik Johur. Uh, I am reading it in Bengali, then in English. Shamporke Shet Patro. Unnoyon Obhipshai Tiketake Najuk Shamporko. Bhitti Bhumi Chorabali, Hatashar Shunno Nishit. Bontu Dorujai Obiram Paraghat. Kingba Noshto Calling Bell. Shamporkugulo Animation. Virtual Digonto Chue Probahito. Adokuna Shamporko Chilokina. প্রশ্নটি উজ্জ্ব থাকে সময় অভাবে দুজনের মাঝখানে ঘাট ছোঁয়া নদী নেই শুধু নীলক্ষার চর সেতুনে স্থপতির দারুণ আকাল তবু সম্পর্ক নামধারী কোনো অলিক কাহিনী টিকে থাকে হাসে কথা কয় হাত বাড়ালেও জোটে শুধু শূন্য হাহাকার হোয়াইট পেপার অফ রিলেশনশিপ ডেলিকেট রিলেশনশিপ Survive development aspiration. The foundation is quicksand, hopeless night of despair. Endless knocking on closing closed doors or an useless calling bell. Relationships are animation. They flow touching the virtual horizon, whether there was any relationship at all. The question is implied due to lack of time. There is no river between the two, only Nilakha Chor, that is no man's land. No bridge, no architect to build it. Yet the relationship is a fictional story with a name, survive, love, talk. Even if the hand is extended, there is only zero whaling in the alliance. Thank you. Thank you, Poetess Santa Maria, for your beautiful poem again. Now, I am inviting Honorable Poet Shomit Boshu from India. Now, I am inviting Poet Shomit Boshu to present his third poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Tofik. My third poem is Batashe Ure Shabalo Golpira. সমস্ত মিথ্যের ভেতর লুকিয়ে থাকে একটা নীল গল্প সেসব শুনব বলে আমরা হাত ধুয়ে গোল হয়ে বসে পড়ি আমাদের পাতের উপর এক এক করে জড়ো হয় পুরনো ফেলে দেওয়া বংশ পরিচয় ঝাড়বাতি আর ধান খেত বরাবর নীল হলুদ রাস্তাগুলো দুপাশের বাড়িগুলো আজকাল অবিশ্বাস করছে আমাদের অ্যান্টেনার আগায় লেগে থাকা সমস্ত ঘুড়িরা লেজ নাড়তে নাড়তে এগিয়ে আসছে জল ভরা ট্যাঙ্কের দিকে এই প্রথম যেন কেউ ওদের গায়ে পড়িয়ে দিয়েছে উনপঞ্চাশের মন্নন্তর নিচু বোকা অশ্বত্থ গাছের ভেতর দিয়ে কেউ যেন এঁকে রেখেছে পথ মহিঞ্জদর চাতালে সমস্ত মিথ্যের ভেতর লুকিয়ে থাকে যে নীলাভ গল্প সেসব জড়ো করে আজ আগুন জ্বালাতে চাই সমস্ত ধোঁয়া বিয়ে নেমে আসা আগুনে তারা যেন নিজেকে চিনতে শেখে গল্পগুলো যেন মরে যাওয়ার আগে ছোট ছোট ডানা পেয়ে যায় থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ পয়েট সৌমিত বসু ফর ইউর বিউটিফুল পয়েম এগেন ইউ হ্যাভ টু রিড দ্যাট ইজ দ্যাট ইজ আওয়ার হার্ট অ্যান্ড your poem was history and the nature and the beautiness and all these things are in one poem thank you very much for your beautiful poem again now i am inviting our honorable poetess geeta mohanty uh, now i am inviting a poetess geeta mohanty to present her third poem today thank you thank you so much tofi um my third composition is when i am gone 
When you would know anymore, I wouldn't be back. That wasn't a bye, rather a goodbye for the final track. When you would realize I wouldn't be reachable, my address would be lost somewhere under the piles of the chronicles. Still, my existence would be slowly burning below your left clavicle. I promise I wouldn't stop you that time. You can embrace smile of mine, all my warm hugs you would feel within your arms, my melted love they would reveal. Please never let me get spilled. Along with your tears, let me be always in your eyes, my dear. Few giggles I would leave below, under my favorite pillow, anytime you feel lonely, Add them to your heartbeat slowly. They would beat instantly along. Warmth of my breath. Again, you would hear like my humming song. I wouldn't let you understand. So that aloofness of mine, my, so that aloofness of mine, you can withstand slowly and quietly. When it would be closing the door of my existence, beneath each crease of the bedsit, my memories would be persistent. Please don't look for my poems. They would bother you even more in my name. I can't even console you holding close to my, holding close my dear and adore. Do not change the color of the bedsit even if I'm gone. Let them as it is white as snow. To keep your fascinating emotions flow, do not look for my wardrobe and closets. Behind my everywhere, you would see my appear and disappear. I would not like to see you getting bothered, my dear. Never walk in those sweet memory lane where we walked holding hand in hand. Do not look at my those last closed eyes. I would, it would remind you my passionate kisses and utter sigh. I know you don't like to see me saying you a goodbye, but you would be fine with or without mine. Anyway, I would be living in the ether or somewhere in the emotions of yours. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, poetess Gita Mohanty Di. Uh, you are always writing in lyrical poetry, and always when we heard your uh, poetry, our heart is dancing because uh, really it it very much uh, touchy and touches our heart in deeply. Uh, you write uh, in this poetry, uh, "Do not change the bed cover sheet, even I will leave or I will gone." It's really, it's a touches, it's a lovely uh, quoted, I think so. Uh, thank you very much for your beautiful lyrical poem again. Now I am inviting poetess Ramina Herrera to present her third poem. Thank you. Gracias, Tofik. El cuarto poema se titula Profunda o Coloro, Ojos Profundos, Ojos Mirones. Bajen sus párpados, ciérrense ahora. Mi carne no quiere desiertos, no más arena en mis orejas, ni escorpiones picándome los huesos. Apaguen esa luz, luz que seduce hacia el oasis, oasis que solo existe en mi cabeza. Nómada y extenuante, es el dilema que me emplaza, leyendo señales a ciegas, sintiendo agua en mis células, y nada es cierto. Y nada existe, solo la voz que de muy adentro suplica, llueve sabiduría en mis fértiles campos, da verdor a mis, fix, a mis ficciones y color a mis utopías. Y los ojos a mi espalda se cerraron. Mutis. Gané la batalla, sueño y pesadilla mezclados en una sola danza. A mitad de todo, de la nada, 
derramaron aceite y flor, y flor de harina, mi frente lo entiende, y me, suner, y me sumergen en esa densa agua, mis rocíos, las semillas, la voz me mira y sonríe, regresa la calma, razón y corazón, trego al fin, limpio quedó, como si nada, el campo de batalla. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Damina Herida, for your beautiful poem again. Thank you very much. Now I am inviting poetess Ainur Kumar Khanova to present her third poem today. Thank you. Thank you. Kishirdim. Kishiru koldan kilirdi. Yudindu bikir aldaptin. Kumilin magan bilirdip. Kulkumdu sagan arnaptin. Kilkindi janga shitumun. Yestel kaldi yudindu. Kiyaldan seni ketirdim. Ada bo bizdim sezimnen. Адасқан жайлы аспанға, кәмірден әмеу сұраған, талған ем көзді көк талға, оны да көрдім жылаған. Мен емес екем күрескер, кешіру деген жатмаған, өкпемді менің бір ескер, жұбанар нәрсе тапмаған, көктем де келді келмедім, бенеңді сенің өшірдім, тәнірдің берген ермегін, өлместей болып кешірдім. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ainur Kumar Kanova, for your beautiful poem again. Now I am inviting poetess Pilar Lopez Amarillo, who is from Argentina. Now I am inviting poetess Pilar Lopez Amarillo to present her third poem today. Thank you. Please unmute your phone. Pilar, please unmute your phone. Yes, sorry, sorry. Uh, It will be mundos paralelos. Existe un mundo paralelo en el que tú y yo nos conocimos primero. Existe un mundo paralelo en el que las almas se fusionan y dejan de estar por sí solas. Existe un mundo paralelo donde lo que somos, fuimos o seremos, está librado al azar de reencontrarse una vez más y en otro lugar, existe un mundo paralelo en el que todos claman por el buen obrar sin importar nada más, existe un mundo paralelo donde las cosas funcionan como deben hacerlo y no por malentendidos inconexos, un mundo de paz sin guerras o atrocidades, sin preocupaciones por necedades o banalidades, Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Pilar Lopez Amorelli, for your beautiful poem again. Madina, are you there? Yes. Now I am inviting poetess Madina Muhammad Ali Jaiba to present her third poem today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... I recognize my nation by their pride. I also recognize by their morality and my life. You can find this kind of firmness in the world. I recognize my nation by their work. If someone visits, they cover their soul and shares their last bread with them shares all their food during the celebrations, but they keep their creed as the prayer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madina Muhammad Ali Jayaba, for your beautiful poem again. Uh, I think I think our one of the guest poetess, Aisha Khatun, has to uh, read finally. Aisha Khatun, do you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I am inviting poetess Aisha Khatun because it is at the last moment she has entered. Now I am introducing her. Now I am introducing one of the important poetess who is from India. She is Aisha Khatun. She is a poetess, writer, social worker. She is the generations of 90s. She works in variety subjects 
in women like women empowerment quality education in mother tongue women land rights rain water harvesting farming with bio fertilizer environment through eco feminism she published 21 books where four books novel four books poetry eight books short story collections two book for kids story two book on linguistic she has been presented some important papers in different university in usa that is united states of america like social and political position of muslim women in west bengal the university of colorado united states how to tribal muslim and dalit women collect rain water and protect environment and life the university of john hopkins united states of america papers on eco feminism the university of mit united states of america paper present on how protect and implement land right through sufism in west bengal the university of tokyo japan make number of eight primary school for tribal and dalit girls and boys make number of two high school with hostel named begum rukia academy for girls and bolpur shanti niketan begum rukia academy for boys at md bazar birbhum she received some prestigious award for her great contribution in bengali literature like begum rukia award for suraha sampriti 2003 young writers award from bharatiya bhasha parisho 2008 ila chando city 2009 rupashi bangla tv channel 2012 tomake salam award 2017 jubo sikriti jatiyo parishad west bengal 2020 kobita bangla 2018 bangladesh minority commission award who is is 8 march award delhi kendriya delhi center government 2021 she loves swimming cycling farming singing now i am inviting poetess aisha khatun to present one after one two poems because uh, she has to join at the last moment so she will read one after one two poems thank you very much ओके बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आप लोग को बहुत बधाई अपना अनेक अनेक धन्यवाद और समय नहीं कविता पढ़ी खामती आसले खामती हमारे गे तो वो ये कविता पढ़ी एक ग्रामे रही कोई बहरे इसे कथा बोलते तो खामती कविता पढ़ी कदम छुट्टी दिल निल कैक दिन छुट्टी दिल निल छुट्टी जीवन दरकार हम नेब नेब को नेवाई से दिन छुट्टी नहीं फिर बाड़ी का बाड़ी का देखी बाड़ी छुट्टी नहीं लाइफ बाट थिंकिंग एंड थिंकिंग टू गेट आई कूड नट डू एट अल दैट डे आई टू दिव एंड रिटर्न homeward i saw my home had taken leave from me ar shomoy ache pora thank you very much you, you will read another poem now because no time so you will read another time another poem thank you okay so you just start okay one minute just one minute टाइम तो बहुत कम है कत दिन कवित नाम विषमाखा मटी कत दिन 
আর ভোরের ভুলকো তারাকে দেখা হয়নি আমার কতদিন আর ভোরের ভুলকো তারাকে দেখা হয়নি আমার চারিদিকে এত আলো চারিদিকে এত আলো সে আলোয় চোখ ঝাপসা হয়ে আসে জোনাকির থেমেছে ওরা আধারের শোকে জোনাকির জোনাকির থেমেছে ওরা আধারের শোকে দু একটা বাবলা বকুল ফুটে আছে কোন পরবাসে রাত ভর এইসব নগ্ন কথা ভাবি উড়ে যায় কর্পুরের বোতল দেখি বিষাক্ত খামার এখন কেবল now i am going to poet santa maria now coming poet santa maria to present her last poem today thank you amar she kobita ajke kosom purandho belar kosom oporandho belar jiboner choukache dariye chiranton khujechi tomake রোদ জলা খুব দূর শূন্য ডাঙা এক নাও ডাঙা গ্রাম পুরনো মফসল স্বপ্নের প্রান্ত ছুঁয়ে পরিত্যক্ত রেলপথ অথবা চাতার হায়ু আদিম গ্রামের প্রেম প্রভু ভক্ত প্রথম কুকুর সুমেরিয়া অগ্নিকুণ্ড ঘিরে কোন নিবিড় সন্ধ্যায় নিনেভা নগরে অতিবৃদ্ধ কথকের কণ্ঠে গিলগামেশের বীর বাছা শুনতে শুনতে তোমাকেই দেখেছি রাত্রির আকাশে কর্ণওয়ালে কিলচিক ডাইনির চোখের তারায় ছলকায় কন্যা রাশির পরম কুমারী আমি এক অন্ত উই নিশ্চিত বিনাশ জেনে স্মিত হেসে ঝাঁপ দেই উজ্জ্বল আনন্দে আর যাবর্তে আদিম গ্রামের পথে নিভৃত আশ্রমে নবান্ন উৎসবে ফিরে আসে পূর্ব জন্ম দশ হাজার বছর পরে আবার জন্মেছি আমি ফসলের গান ভালোবেসে বিস্মরণ আপিক সীমানার ওপারে মহাশূন্যের শাসক নিরবতা সত্য শুধু অপরান্ত বেলা আর বলি সুদন্তন খুঁজেছি তোমাকে আই সোয়ার বাই দা আফটারনুন লাইট সোয়ার বাই দা আফটারনুন লাইট স্ট্যান্ডিং এট দা ক্রস রোডস অফ লাইট I have been looking for you forever. The sunlight is soft in a distant land. The village of Naudoba, an abundant rail line, it touches the age of the old town. Or Chatal Hayu, the love of the primitive village, the first dog, friend of human. Sumeria, surrounded by a fireplace on a calm evening in the city of Nineva, in the voice of a very old narrator, listening to the epic of gilgamesh i saw you in the night sky cornwall the star in the eyes of the celtic witch virgo flashes i am a blind insect knowing the sheer destruction i smiled and jumped in a fire with bright joy on the way to the primitive village of artabarto in a scheduled ashram pe but it comes back to harvest festival i was born again after 10000 years love the song of the harvest 
opinion is relative. The breathless silence of space across the border. The truth is just in the afternoon. Again, eternal, I found you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Poetess Santa Maria, for your beautiful poem. Because uh, when you have to read in, in Bengali language, it touches our heart. But the rest of the world, when they uh, recite your voice in the translated, I think they will understand the musical language of Bengali. Thank you very much for your beautiful poem again. Now I am inviting our honorable poet guest today, that is poet Mr. Shomit Boshu, to present his last poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Tofik. Maya Bo Akshotetrish Isho Ondhukar Dikhi Je Ondhukar e Porushparir Mukh Dekha Jai Je Ondhukar Etokal Janalar Pashe Nani e Amadir Prustroi Di Eshe Chhe Patakudani Dhangi Saikele Boye Ne Chhe Shobuj Shundha Tike Peter Vitori, Chap Chap, Undhukar Kotha, Tibile Upur, Joshmar Motoshui Rikesi, Bali Chorai, Isho, Duhate Undhukar Maki, Had Duyedhi, Kalo Kurituli, Nijede Besine Long, Chote Upur Jodo Hook, Machir Choker Moto Undhukar, Nakhadi Pinge Beruno Undhukar, Alpod Dure. तुम्हार एकला ही ते जो अंधोकार इशो बंधु मुखो मुखी बोशियाँ आलगो छिलिखे रखी आमादेर जोड़ो करा पाथर कुछ अंधोकार इन इंग्लिश द एंचेंटिक ब्राइड 133 कम लेट अस राइट इन डार्क डार्कनेस where we can see ourselves. Darkness that have so long indulged in us, like the leaf picking girl who have brought us green evening in a cycle. Hidden words which I have kept like space on the table in sand bed. Come, let us wash our hand in the dark and color the scene in cobalt black. Let us gather darkness on our lips. Darkness evoke from the nose ring your dark steps on the muddy path. Come, my friend, sitting face to face, let us write softly every pebbles of dark. Thank you. Thank you very much, Poet Shomit Boshu, for your outstanding poem today. You have to read. Thank you very much. Really, it touches our heart, and it was very imagination, uh, imaginary poetry. Thank you very much. Really, uh, really beautiful. Now I am inviting uh, our elder sister, uh, Gita Mohanty, from United States of America. Now I am inviting a poetess Gita Mohanty to present her last poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tofik. Um, my last composition for today is Are We Evolved Enough to Relate When a Name is Needed for the Relation to Understand When Words Are Needed for the emotions, for having a feeling, if needed the justification, for having a devotion, if God's existence needs a proof of personification, if absolute truth is unseen behind the illusion, if human minds are confused with confusions, then we need more of intellectual evolution. It's like when quantum chemistry is talked about, someone is asking, what's an atom? Let's give a thought. Are we evolved enough? Thank you so much. 
Thank you very much, poetess Gita Mohanty, for your beautiful poem. Again, you have to read in Bengali literature. There were a very lyrical, powerful lyrical poet. That's name is Shakuntala Dutto. After long years ago, he has to written some great poem for the nation, for the Bengali lovers of poems. Shakuntala uh, Dutto has to written some memorable speech, memorable lines. After long years uh, have passed, since now we have we are seeing that the uh, from your from your inner side uh, we are looking that you are also writing in English poetry, but that is the very much the lyrical. Thank you, elder sister Gita Mohanty, for your beautiful lyrical poems again. Now I am inviting uh, poetess Ramina Hadera from Peru uh, to present her last poem today. Thank you very much. Gracias, muchas muchas gracias. El siguiente po poema lo titulé Mulier et Mari, Mujer y Mar. Y mi navegar va tomando forma y color. La proa se ve más alta. Mis velas son alazanes de carrera. Y si las olas se ven un poco bravas, ahí voy, aferrada al timón, con sal en la cara y rastros de sol en la espalda. Mi navegar se volvió hermoso. Poseidón prometió cuidar mis desvelos, calmar las más hostiles olas, la más vil de las tormentas. Voy acompañada de dulces sirenas que cobijan con su canto el devenir de mi alma, envuelta en azul cielo que me encanta. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ramina Arida, for your beautiful poem. Again, now I am inviting my friend, poetess Ainur Kumar Khanuba, to present her last poem today. Now I am inviting poetess Ainur Kumar Khanuba to present her last poem today. Thank you, my friend. I am a life. Look at me, father, the cheater women. Kutir again, Kugumia, um, to look good. Kursu dimin, Rok Mulde Mesir Mimin, Sin on Sahan by Lagun Atanda, Min Rosta Raksalar Katarna, Tagderman Nilitin Kapabulam, Bakatuman, Janam. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ainur Kumar Kanuba, for your beautiful short poem again. Thank you very much. Now I am inviting a poetess Pilar Lopez Amorelli from Argentina. Now I am inviting poetess Pilar Lopez Amorelli to present her last poem today. Thank you. Yes, it will be um, in Spanish and also in English. Um, Huida del pasado. En el atávico mundo del simbolismo inesperado, de las incertidumbres del futuro, de las certezas del pasado de lo irremediable y casi innato, de lo sombrío y ofuscado, de vicisitudes inherentes al renacimiento imprevisible de aquello tan lejano. En el mañana inmediato tan divergente y tanto más ensimismado, un espejismo contiguo, poco reconocido y apreciado, del valor de la palabra y del sincretismo del vocablo, del contacto casi nulo, de prejuicios desconfiados, de, reinversio, de reinversiones y, ser, y surgimientos de vidas divergentes e insurgentes, como si también de revelaciones y huidas del pasado. And in English is escape from the past, in the atavistic world of unexpected symbolism, of the uncertainties of the future, of the certainties of the past, of the irremediable and almost innate, of the dark and obfuscated, of inherent vicissitudes to the unimpracted and and predictable rebirth from the far, that far away in the immediate tomorrow, so divergent 
and so much more self-absorbed and a joining mirror little recognized and appreciated of the value of the world and the syncretism of the world. A almost zero contact of mistrustful prejudice of river of reinvestments and searches of divergent and insurgent types, as well as revelations and escape from the past. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, poetess Pilar Lopez Amorelli, for your beautiful poem. Finally, I am inviting, uh, I think uh, Modina is not here, so. Uh, our one of the important poetess who is from Spain. Now I am inviting poetess Aida Acosta Alfonso to present her last poem today. Thank you. Please unmute your phone. Thank you. Thank you, Tofik. <laughs> Sorry for my connection. <laughs> no problem. Carry on. Este poema eh, se lo voy a dedicar a, a las dos poetas que hay latinoamericanas hoy aquí conectadas. Es un poco en deferencia para ellas. Eh, lo encabezo con unos versos de un poeta también de su tierra, que es Alejandro Romualdo, que decía las palabras suntuosas y vacías como las catedrales en la noche. Quiero la palabra, la palabra salvaje, sin pronunciar, abrupta en sí misma como cien cuchillos, llegar al precipicio de cada vocal, dejarme caer. Y lo sé, no estarán tus manos, manto verde, agua de tu boca, no estará tu voz ni tu cálida brisa, permaneceré tendida sobre jades negros, será el atardecer horizonte de abejarucos. Quiero la palabra y no basta la palabra. Se incendia la noche, el dolor es ceniza invisible que besa el silencio y la distancia el cuerpo abandonado a la deriva, amasijo de ramas prisioneras, ancla su locura en los márgenes de la luz, se hace sombra, cadáver, nada. Quiero la palabra, la palabra amor, y no me basta. Thank you. Thank you very much, poetess Aida Acosta Alfonso, for your beautiful poem. Uh, I think this is Spanish language. Is it right? Either it is Spanish or Spain. Which language you are uh, reading now? Either do you hear me? Unmute your phone. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you? Are you? Yes. Which language you have to read? Which language? Spanish or other language? Which language? You read your poem, which language? And, and Spanish. Spanish. Spanish, Spanish, yes. Another. I, 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 yes, thank you, thank you. I think so. Okay, okay, the, okay. The language, okay. The language okay. of Spanish and the Bengali, Bengali language are similar. Both the languages are very much sweet. Sweet language because this language has a rhythm. When someone has to read this language, the rhythm touches our heart. Thank you very much, Aida, for your beautiful poem. Finally, I am going to uh, from Spain. Now again, I am coming to India uh, to invite our uh, poetess Aisha Khatun. Now I am inviting a poetess Aisha Khatun to present her last poem today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Amar Shesh Kovita, Adhut. Odi ke phagun eshech chilo, she tu darunagun. Kya mon manus tumi? চোখের মনিতে কি আর কিছু বাজে না আঁকে না ছবি এই কেমন মানুষ তুমি চোখের মনিতে কি আর কিছুই বাজে না আঁকে না ছবি কেমন গুলো মাছের মতো শরীর করেছ এই থাকতে থাকতে দুটো পা এখন হয়ে যাবে 
strange. There came the spring. That was nice, flame blessing. What a fellow are you? I will capture nothing. They draw no more picture. How pale you have made you think of a film. Will you take this polar night? And now say, will you take this polar night? Or this in fear of his silly insects? Thank you. Thank you very much, Poetess Aisha Khatun, for your beautiful poem. Uh, finally, I am giving the floor to my sister, Santa Maria, to conclusion this program today because uh, here is also <laughs> I am facing some network problems. So today, uh, my sister Santa Maria and my brother and my uh, mentor poet Shomit Boshu will togetherly finish this program. So first of all, I am giving the floor to poet Shomit Boshu to say something about this program, about this uh, poetry Sorry. session, and then after uh, poet poetess Santa Maria will say something and this program will be finished. Now coming, Poet Shamit Boshu. Thank you. Thank you, Tofik. We are grateful to the total system of Uddan, Tofik, and all others. They gave us the opportunity. We feel the rhythm along the world, total world, the poet make us same rhythm. It's a privilege to us. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Shomita. And thank you, uh, Tofi. And Shuman Bhai also. I like to thank Uddan TV, Tofik Johur, and Shuman Bhai for giving us this opportunity to be in this program. Very good, very nice evening. We enjoyed the uh, poetry of different language. Actually, uh, the sky of poems, sky of poetry is one. We feel that by our heart. Thank you. I love you all. The, today, uh, the poetess from uh, different parts of the world who participated and who enjoyed very much their poet poems and also we enjoyed the rhythm the vibe of poetry. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you very much, Poet Santa Maria, for your beautiful uh, speech you have to deliver. Now, finally, I am going to my elder sister who has joined today from United States of America. Uh, I called her Gita Didi. So now coming to f give the finishing task to my elder sister, uh, poetess Gita Mohanty from United States of America to say something about today's program. Thank you, Gita Di. It's a pleasure to, pick, uh, to be here with all of you. As I said, I mean, it's a beautiful platform and the way you organize things, unfortunately today, because of electricity, something get messed up. But still, I mean, uh, this is so well organized uh, and you are just doing an international integration worldwide, taking all across the world, different poetess, poets, uh, uh, including different languages. I mean, poetry really crossed all the barriers. That's really, really amazing and a great thing you are doing and a hearty thanks for you for that wonderful job and the Udan TV. And uh, thank you so much, all the poets and poet is here. I loved all of your poems, though I couldn't understand some different languages. But as I said, the poetry, they have their own uh, vibes. So and definitely I felt those. So thank you so much. And thanks to the listeners and the readers um, who reads our poems and who are listening today. Uh, thank you so much to all of you. Thank you very much, uh, Poetess Gita Mohanty. Uh, thank you very much uh, because uh, today we are facing some trouble in electricity network. Uh, our one of the invited poetess from Indonesia, that is uh, Ianita Ismail, could not join because she is trying heart and soul. Finally, she sent me a message that, sir, I'm sorry, I'm going to bed for sleep. 
because she is trying heart and soul and finally she has to fail thank you everyone who are joined today because of it is successful only for you because you people has to join this session all of you are brilliant poet and poetess in this world across the world you are doing very well i think so and i am very much grateful to my sister santa maria my brother shomit boshu and also my elder sister dr gita mohanty and also my sister and my new friend poetess aisha khatun who has to join from remote area a very difficult place that there is no network she comes out from the home and she is walking across the street and recite yeah. her poem very very uh, grateful to you because you love poetry very much that you are walking in the street and recite your poem that's a very impossible thing so you have yeah. to make possible thank you very much and my friend pilar lopez amorelli i Ainur Kumar Khanoba and our new friend Aida Acosta Alfonso, Alfonso, who is from Spain, also thanks and grateful to you. And our first uh, friend who is starting this program, that is Ramina Arera, also is here today. So, everyone, thank you very much. And the final touch I am telling that the world is again under the bad situation in COVID-19. That is across the world. Again, the COVID yeah. is attacking now. So be careful, stay safe, always stay safe. When you go out from your home, please use mask and sometimes you do hand sanitize. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, we will invite you in next show. Thank you very much. Good day, good night, and good evening, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. Good night.